Okay, on screen parents, hear me out. Um, Mufasa and Sarabi from the OG Lion King with the crucial caveat that I get to change the ending. The first film I remember watching, I think it was a VHS of Never Ending Story. And I think there was something about the, just like the fantasy world of it all, all the characters. I still really remember, even, even if I haven't seen the film in ages, I still really remember Bastion, Atreyu, the big fluffy dragon thing, Valkor. I think, yeah, it was a real eye opener to, to what an escape movies can be. So yeah, I really remember that one. There's a lot of performances that inspired me when I was getting into the industry. Um, but I think one of the ones that really kind of made me sit up was um, Shifty, Riz Ahmed's performance in that. I think I was training when that came out. Um, I remember seeing, I remember they had a really memorable poster that was sort of all over the tube everywhere. And yeah, that the pairing of him and Danny Mays and seeing, you know, a young brown lead in a really sort of gritty, edgy indie film, it kind of opened my eyes up to a world of, of cinema that I didn't really know existed or was possible. So yeah, I remember that a lot. One that has always left an impression on me. I remember seeing Cinema Paradiso the scene of the kiss in the rain. There's something about, yeah, just all of the elements of that scene, the, you know, literally the weather, the the kind of the romance, the the love of film. I think, yeah, that 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 to me is a perfect scene. Memorable moment that I had on set, we shot Mindy K. Feelings reimagining of four weddings and a funeral a few years ago. And one of the scenes I remember getting really excited about in the script was basically an homage to the scene in Notting Hill where he walks down the street and it changes and the seasons change and it's it it it, it shoots like a like it's a single take. Um and I got really excited because in our version it was going to be my character walking down his the, walking down the street in his hometown in Hounslow. So it was like it was that it was that Notting Hill scene, but it was remixed. And, you know, um, I remember on the day just being really excited at the something about just the practicalities of shooting something like that. And, you know, the hiding the, the 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 scene transition behind like, you know, a van moves past and you've got a snow machine here and then you've got a chain, you know, a rain machine kicks in here. Yeah, that was um, that was a really exciting moment to, to be on set. A British film that I think everyone should see, I'm gonna go with Rocks, because I it's not that old, but I think it's a modern classic. And I think we should celebrate it and talk about it as a as an example of British cinema and the way that we do Billy Elliot. You know, it's sort of got it's got everything. As a soundtrack, and maybe this is cheating, but it's got everything in it into the Spider-Verse, because I feel like there's something for whatever mood you're in. You know, there's so many good hip hop tracks, but there's also the instrumental stuff is like really sturdy. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Into the Spider-Verse. Okay, on-screen parents, hear me out. Um, Mufasa and Sarabi from the OG Lion King with the crucial caveat that I get to change the ending because, you know, I don't want to lose my pops, but I think they're they're the best. You know, they're the king and queen of the jungle, of the, of the of, of, and it's not the jungle, is it? Of of, of the savannah. Um, really loving. You, I feel like it's a really loving home. Um, great life lessons. Just you know, cut out the bit with the horrible twisted uncle, James Bond. He gets it all. You know. Um, I think he's always impeccably turned out and always makes an impression. 
I'm gonna go for Satya Jit Ray, who's like, he's an iconic Indian independent film director. His, but like, and, and style on both levels, the style of his films is beautiful, you know, long takes, natural light, really grounded, moving human stories. Yeah, I know I'm gonna answer to this, but I haven't. And I talk about it like I have is alien um and i feel like as a big sci-fi genre nerd that can talk about you know the chest buster scene and all of that i sh really should have seen, seen alien so i don't know why i need to go find a screening at the prince charles and go sort that out because it's a classic and it's shameful that i haven't seen it <laughs>